Hey guys, and welcome to episode 29 of Zerg's Single Player Survival Series Season 1. I'm out here just checking on my tree farm, and you can see I got a lot of wood stored up. I also have a lot of saplings, and I'm getting really good on apples. So maybe we might want to start thinking about doing something with those. Uh, also, in here, looks like my power system's doing pretty well to keep everything taken care of. I mean, the, the thermal centrifuge uh, is now working really well, and it looks like the backlog is now the ore washing plant. So, might be something we have to take care of uh, in the near future. And I just want to check on my... Uh-oh. I have zero fuel. Uh, how are these doing? Oh, they're starting to go down. Okay, so we might actually want to start looking at um, using those saplings and, and apples a, a little bit sooner. So what I'd like to do then, because we, we are going to run out of uh, fuel that we have, let's look at what we can do with the saplings. And so what I'm going to need is forestry. So let's go ahead and pull up forestry. What I'm going to want to make, and let's see if it's here in forestry. We have fuel capsules, right? But we also can make ethanol, which is basically biofuel. So to make ethanol, I need, not in a fluid transposer, in the refinery. I need to put biomass in a refinery to make ethanol. Well, how do I make biomass? I can, no, that's a squeezer. So I need a fermenter. So I can use something in the fermenter, right, like some plant-based materials, with water or fruit juice, and well, it looks like it makes about the same with water or fruit juice. I would expect... I'd expect fruit juice to make more. Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, let's just use water. Oh, see, there we go. That's what I was expecting. I guess, for some reason, it's just not showing up with the other recipes. So it looks like with fruit juice, we actually make more. So let's look at making some fruit juice. So for that... I'm actually going to need an, another machine. Let's go ahead and pull this up here. We want to make a squeezer. So we're going to need a sturdy casing and looks like tin and some glass. Well, sturdy casing is just some bronze. So let's get this squeezer made. And I don't have a lot of bronze. So let's go ahead and grab some copper. And we're say, I don't know, we're say 21. So 21 copper, and then we're also going to need some tin. And we're going to need 7 tin. And that should make us a whole bunch of bronze. 28 bronze. So let's go ahead and make a sturdy casing, and I believe I'm going to need two of them. So let's go ahead and just make two right now. I'm also going to need six pieces of tin and two pieces of glass. So let's get our two glass, and let's get our six tin. So we can throw it all together here and make our squeezer. And I wonder where I want my squeezer to be. You know, I could always put it here. 
Yeah. Let's put it here. So if I put another tank, say right here, actually let's let's figure out where we want our tanks to be. So let me just grab a little bit of cobblestone. So we just grab a st say a stack. Just so I can lay out where I want my tanks to be. So if I have this one here, Let's say we give two spaces and we put the next one here. And we give two spaces and we put another one here. Mm. Maybe that's not how we want to do it. So this will be up against the wall, just like that one. So maybe we can do, just say, one space. And we can put another one, and then one space and another one. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, so we should be able to fit four tanks in here. That's, that'll work pretty well. So right here then. Right here we're going to put, we're say, fruit juice. So let's just dig down right here so that way we know where where this uh, fruit juice is going to go in and so we can put our squeezer right here now our squeezer we're going to need to pump power into it and then uh, and then pump items in so let's go ahead and see if we have any redneck cable let me go ahead and sleep through the night Okay, and we need some of the redstone 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 energy conduit. I might even need more than that. And I think I I think the closest place that I have it running is right here. So I I probably could go right outside and just run it straight up from there. Yeah, looks like it's it's just right here. So maybe we might even want our squeezer, like, right here on this side. So let's do, let's get our power into here. And, yeah, we'll just do that. Well... I'm getting turned around. You know what? No, we can go ahead and just run it over there. I mean, in here is uh, is really for all the piping and stuff anyway. And I'll just pick this up, and I'll just put it right here. So there we go. So now we should have power for it. And we just need to get items into here. So I think the best way to do that is just going to be to run our logistics pipe uh, pipe network right up here. So I should have a whole bunch of, yeah, stone transport pipes. A couple of basic logistics. Where, a couple of basic logistics. And I don't know if I have any running outside. I mean, I know I have this right here, so I could always run straight off of this and go right up to there. That's probably going to be our best bet. So right here, let's go ahead and put our basic logistics because it's going to be an intersection because it'll it'll go that way or or it'll go up and we're just running right up to here we just toggle our flight control help us uh, fly a little bit better 
There we go. And I don't want those to connect. So let's just... I know it's just visual, but I still don't want them to connect. And last one. So if we go back inside, I should be able to go right upstairs. And that'll come in right here. This is going to just be a, a maze of pipes. So let's go out this way. And right over to here. And I don't want that to connect just yet, because I don't want that pipe anyway. So we're going to disconnect all of these. And let's go grab a supplier. So logistics pipes, and we want a supplier pipe, which is two lappies. And I should have a bunch of... What did I do with my lappies? What did I do with my lappies? Oh, I think I put in uh, one of the uh, barrels downstairs. So let's grab two lappies. And while I'm here, I can actually request another set of logistics pipes. So we we'll make our supplier pipe here, and I wonder if I have, no, I don't have any apples. So let's just grab one apple. And it'll take just a minute because it has to come from our deep storage unit. So let's go right up here. We'll put our supplier pipe right here. And we're tell it to supply apples. And we're tell it to go ahead and infinite. So that way it will fill this squeezer with apples. And if everything goes right, we should have fruit juice. And see, here come all of our apples. And we're also going to need to take out something because... When it makes the apples uh, here in the, the squeezer. Oh, that's cool. Now there's an owner tab. It'll also make mulch as a byproduct. And we want the mulch to come out. So we could actually probably put just a basic logistics pipe right there. And then we could get, say, an extractor. So let's get... We could probably just do an extractor. I think you, there's extractor pipes, right? Uh, let's see. Provider. Maybe not. That's okay. We can just do an extracting module. Which I believe should be these blue ones. Yeah, this one should be just fine. So redstone, iron, some lappies, and a plank module. So a redstone iron chip set, which... It, okay, there we go. We have one. Some lappies. I'm going to need two of those. And a blank module. And I should have... Some logistics chassis pipes. I thought I had some logistics chassis. I thought I had some Mark 1s. I don't see any. Well, we'll just grab a redstone chipset then. And I should just be able to basic... Is that not right? 
Well, let's make our module first. Blank module, chipset, two lappies. There's our extractor module. Now, we don't need a real fast one. And then logistics chassis. Okay, I need two pieces of iron. So there's our chipset, one basic, and two iron. And how are we doing? We're about halfway halfway down. So let's go ahead and put our extractor there. And we want to put a basic logistics pipe. Okay, looks like our fruit juice is completely filled up. So we have this Mark 1, and we just want to go ahead and put our extractor module in, and it should start pulling out all of the mulch. Uh, there it goes. So it's, it's just taken a little bit. So let's get everything that we need for a tank. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, make everything that I need for a tank and put it uh, up there. Okay, so here we go. So we have another tank here. And what I want to do is just go ahead and connect it right up to this fluid duct here. And we're come... And I'll leave that little bit of space so that way I can, I can get around there. And we're come right over here. and right to here. And then what we should be able to do, let's go ahead and disconnect that. Let's go ahead and wrench this and install a servo. And we tell this to ignore redstone signal. And there goes our juice. So our juice should all go right into this tank here. Perfect, so that'll take care of that part. So now, what we need to do is we need to turn our juice into ethanol. And since we no longer have this connecting really to anything, we should be able to just go ahead and disconnect all of this here. I really have no way to get over there. Hmm. Well, just for right this second. Let's go ahead and just do that. Because this used to go, uh, you know, down to where our refinery was, but it's no longer there. So now I should be able to make ethanol in the refineries that we already have, I believe. Or no, I have to make biomass first. Hmm. Yeah, so I kind of want to change the way that this works then. Because I don't want juice right here. I kind of want I want biomass right here. So let let let's disconnect the power. Now, that's going to use up what little bit of power it has, and it'll, it'll put it into there. So let, let me go ahead and build one more tank. Okay, I'm just making a little bit more redstone energy conduit here. I'll go ahead and throw some of this stuff I don't need anymore away. Eh, for right now, I don't need any of this stuff. And upstairs, I went and set up uh, another tank. And you can see now this one has the fruit juice in it. And that's because I went and ran from the bottom of this tank into the side of this tank, which ejected out of this one. So let's go ahead and just remove all of these here. And I redid my piping. So that way it's along the wall here. And here's the, the energy conduit. But I actually need to turn on my flight control and come out here and finish off this conduit. Because I I was looking at it and 
just for the sake of moving around and, and future use, I think this is going to work much better. Oh, there we go. And so now that's reconnected, and we should have power in there again. I do need to put my extractor module back in here, and I probably need some apples. But you can see now, it's a lot easier to get around. There's, there's no piping in the way, and everything's nice and cleaned up. Because we're going to have more machines and, and you know, more uh, things that we're using to process in there. So let's grab just a few apples. Let's just say a stack. And it'll take just a second for these to, to make their way here. And let's take them upstairs. And now we can go ahead and tell this. Where do the supplier keep stored? 64 and we're just tell this partial so what that means is if it has less than 64 it'll request those but this will only keep one stack of apples so that way we don't have apples bouncing around our network all over the place and then it should just go ahead and pull the mulch right out so what I need to do is tell this to output go ahead and install our pneumatic servo again and ignore redstone signal and there we go so our fruit juice is now going into this tank here so now let's look at biomass so if we go back to forestry we want to make biomass so to make biomass we're going to need the fermenter so the fermenter, we can use mulch, and that's, that's one of the reasons I wanted to use the squeezer. So we're going to need saplings and mulch in a fermenter. So let's, let's go down here. Oh, looks like it's getting nighttime. And I should have a whole bunch. Yeah. So I have a few more, um, conduits that I'm, I'm going to cook down some redstone but actually we might as well get that started so it was 26 is what we had and it actually uses twice as much uh, two redstone per so I figure if I just pick 26 and hit it twice then it'll get me the two redstone per I'm gonna throw those here in the hopper and I bet you yeah these are almost out this one's completely out. So once once those run out, we're going to be solely on our nuke. So hopefully, yeah, okay, that's good. Good thing is, is we have a, a full storage power. So let's look at the fermenter here. So the carpenter centrifuge fermenter. So that's why I made another sturdy casing. I'm going to need some bronze gears. So just stone gears surrounded by bronze. Okay. So let's request the bronze that we have. And I think I'm going to need... I'm going to need 16. So let's just request the 14 that we have. And we should be able to request four stone gears and we're going to need a little bit more in the way of copper we're going to need three copper and one tin and where was that fermenter and we're going to need four glass Yeah, four glass. Okay. So let's go ahead and make at least the bronze uh, gears that we can. And go ahead and pick that up again here. There we go. So we can make three of them. So I'm going to need one more set of bronze. And one more gear. 
So there's our four gears, and I believe it was just like this with our sturdy casing and our four pieces of glass. Gets us our fermenter. So let's run this upstairs. And I want it to be... I don't think we can extract out of the fur. There's nothing really to extract out of the fermenter. So we'll just place it right here. And let me go ahead and get the pipes that I'm going to need. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the pipes that I'm going to need. Um, I believe the only thing that I'm going to need is a supplier logistics pipe. And I have some basic logistics pipes just in case. I don't need this redstone iron chipset. Now, the other thing that I'm going to need is... Well, I don't need it, but it'll help. And I want one diamond... Uh, the other thing that I want to make is I'm going to need two sets of these stone tool rods. If I go just like this with some sticks and a diamond, I can make a diamond saw. And I have plenty of diamonds now. Seems that I'm doing pretty good in the diamond department now. So let's throw that away there. And... The reason that I wanted that is just so I can make some covers, just in case I need to separate pipes. And I can go ahead and throw the diamond saw here in my ender pouch. So uh, I went and just uh, turned this and, and put the power line down this way. So that way I have uh, a little bit more room here and I can do something here depending on who knows what we're going to put for a tank there. So here in our fermenter, I'm going to need to go and put a supplier pipe right here. But before I do that, I want to make sure to have a basic logistics pipe there because this is going to make an intersection. So there's our supplier. And we'll go ahead and tell the supplier pipe to keep 64 saplings and 64 mulch. And we'll tell this to partially fill if it doesn't have everything it needs. So it'll go ahead and start throwing this stuff in here. And I have some, uh, some extra mulch here. The other thing that we're going to need is we're going to need these fluid ducts. Because we need to get the fruit juice into our fermenter. And we don't need this to connect here or here or here. So if everything's working right, there it goes. It's making biomass. So now we need to get the biomass into this tank. So let's go ahead and just go straight. And this is why I, I basically set it up the way that I did. Is So this whole line is going to be taken up by machines that are making this uh, you know, making the, the different fluids for us. So let's go ahead and tell that that's an output. we we'll are go ahead and put a pneumatic servo in and tell it to ignore redstone signal. So now we have biomass coming into this tank. And uh, let's go ahead and pull up forestry again. So now that I have biomass right here, um, I could go ahead and use a refinery to make ethanol. I could use a still to make ethanol. Now, a still take one bucket of biomass and make 0.3 buckets. What does a refinery do? Okay, so looks like a refinery makes less. Hmm. So it takes four millibuckets and makes one millibucket. Now the still, you know what, we'll start with a refinery because we really need this to uh, get started right now. And then we can always change it later to a still. And I should have a couple of refineries. Oh, I just have one refinery. That's fine. So let's go ahead and go right up here. And what I want to do is I want to put my refinery 
right here. And go ahead and do just like that. And that should get started on the ethanol. So let's go ahead and disable that. Disable this. I don't want I don't want that to connect in the back either. I mean it doesn't hurt anything, but it doesn't look like I can get back there anyway. Nope. So now what I should be able to do is just go ahead and hook this right here. And go ahead and flip that to be an output, install our pneumatic servo, and tell it to ignore redstone signal, and we have ethanol. Awesome. Now you notice there's not really a lot in the tank here because, well, it's going straight from the tank down into our uh, generators downstairs. So if we go down here, yep, looks like there's not really a lot in, in these. And there's a little bit coming in. So um, this hopefully should take care of the extra power. And you can see here, we're not really using, uh, it looks like we're now gaining a surplus. And that's just with two of these running. So hopefully we should start to go up. Between this episode and next, I'll just go ahead and let this go ahead and create more ethanol. And you can see here our fruit juice is just really going up. I hope you guys enjoyed, and with that, I will see you guys later.